Two armed men who stormed the Dearborn Police Department defending their open carry rights were sentenced today. Now they're going to jail. 7 Action News reporter Gino Vici is in the newsroom with how long they'll be behind bars. Gino. Well, guys, remember, this was the video that had even the most loyal open carry advocates saying, what were these guys thinking? Now, the interesting thing about this case, one of the defendants, James Baker, is headed to jail for not what he did side inside the police department, but what for the two incriminating themselves in a Facebook live video two hours entering before entering PD with guns, body armor and ski masks. James Baker and Brandon Vreeland's video of the two storming into the Dearborn Police Department went viral. The two men were open carrying, Baker also wearing a ski mask. He was convicted of carrying a concealed weapon, but was found not guilty of brandishing a firearm and disturbing the peace. But the same jury found Vreeland guilty of both. In terms of looking at this in terms of the entire totality of the circumstances, it was intentionally <laughs> provocative and frankly they're both lucky they're alive. Judge Miriam Bazzi questioning what their intentions were. By referencing a conversation Baker and Vreeland recorded moments after being confronted by a Dearborn police officer two hours before they entered PD armed. They're both lucky that the Dearborn police officers that were present that day had the patience and the demeanor to not shoot them, particularly in the atmosphere that exists and what's happening with police officers throughout the country. Judge Bazzi stating Vreeland and Baker ultimately put their lives at risk, as well as the officers inside the Dearborn Police Department. Judge Bazzi stating probation was simply not enough. I don't think straight probation is appropriate for either one of these individuals. Well, Baker was sentenced to nine months of the Wayne County Jail. Remember, he was found not guilty of brandishing a firearm and disturbing the peace, but was found guilty of carrying a concealed weapon. Now, Vreeland was found guilty on all three charges. He was sentenced to nine months to five years at the Michigan Department of Corrections. Their attorneys say they'll be appealing the case. In the newsroom, Gino Vici, 7 Action News. All right, thank you.